video and I'm here to show how motion paths work with Aura. Here I have a composition with a 3D space motion path which is just some X position and Z position keyframed and a camera. Let's go ahead and create a new solid and apply robite Aura. Uh, now, since we have a camera, it like, starts from here, but um, let's select, change the producer type from point to motion pad. Now make sure that the layer of the motion pad begins with, the, with, with this name here. So right now it's set to path, so my motion pad layer is also set to path. And here the waves are being emitted, are followed through the motion path. Um, let's go back and set the wave settings. Let's make the same size to about 25, 25. So the size does not change over time. So we have a setting here and let's increase the lifespan a little bit and increase the velocity so that the waves move a lot faster so you have these waves that are following the motion path and at the end of the path they still keep going uh, even after the path ends here they still keep going because the lifespan is a lot longer than uh, than the motion path distance here so you have two options, you can leave it to keep going at the end of the motion path, or you can select terminate waves. So the, as soon as the end of motion path is reached, the wave is just killed off. So waves just stop at the end of the motion path here. Now this works well if you have a lot of uh, waves, for example. and you can even change the shape make it a star and create interesting structures you can have some spin and this is uh, one aspect you can even create uh, bands for example and yeah, let's decrease the frequency a bit so you can have a lot more wider bands here. Hope you guys uh, like the motion path setting in Aura. Uh, if you have any questions, please let me know.